How to diagnose and treat a prolapsed bladder. When a woman's bladder falls out of place and drops into the vagina, it is said to be prolapsed. Anatomically, the bladder lies between the pubic bone in the front and the uterus in the back and above the vagina. A prolapsed bladder, or cystocele, can occur when the muscles of the vaginal wall weaken and fail to support the pelvic organs properly. In this situation, the bladder bulges or protrudes into the vagina. About 11% of women will need surgery to correct pelvic organ prolapse. Because cystoceles can cause discomfort and incontinence, it's important to diagnose them and treat any symptoms as quickly and effectively as possible. Recognizing the symptoms of a prolapsed bladder. Feel for a bulge of tissue in your vagina. In serious cases, you may be able to feel your bladder descend into your vagina. When you sit down, it may feel like you are sitting on a ball or an egg. This feeling may disappear when you stand up or lie down. This is the most obvious symptom of a cystocele, and you should see your primary care physician or gynecologist as soon as possible. This feeling is generally considered a sign of a severe prolapsed bladder. This feeling is generally considered a sign of a severe prolapsed bladder. Note any pelvic pain or discomfort. If you have any pain, pressure, or discomfort in your lower abdomen, pelvic area, or vagina, you should see a doctor. Any number of conditions, including a prolapsed bladder, could cause those symptoms. If you have a cystocele, this pain, pressure, or discomfort may increase when you cough, sneeze, exert yourself or otherwise place pressure on the muscles of your pelvic floor. If this is the case, be sure you mention it to your doctor. If you have a prolapsed bladder, you may also feel like something is falling out of your vagina. If you have a cystocele, this pain, pressure, or discomfort may increase when you cough, sneeze, exert yourself or otherwise place pressure on the muscles of your pelvic floor. If this is the case, be sure you mention it to your doctor. If you have a prolapsed bladder, you may also feel like something is falling out of your vagina. Consider any urinary symptoms. If you tend to leak urine when you cough, sneeze, laugh, or exert yourself, you have what's known as stress incontinence. Women who have given birth are particularly susceptible, and a prolapsed bladder can be a major cause. See your doctor to resolve the issue. Notice as well if you've experienced any changes when you urinate, including difficulty initiating a stream of urine, incomplete emptying of the bladder also known as urinary retention, and increased urinary frequency and urgency. Note if you've had frequent bladder infections, or urinary tract infections UTIs. Frequent is defined as having more than one UTI in a six-month period. Women with cystoceles often wind up with frequent bladder infections, so it's worth paying attention to the frequency of your UTIs. Notice as well if you've experienced any changes when you urinate, including difficulty initiating a stream of urine, incomplete emptying of the bladder also known as urinary retention, and increased urinary frequency and urgency. Note if you've had frequent bladder infections, or urinary tract infections UTIs, frequent is defined as having more than one UTI in a six-month period. Women with cystoceles often wind up with frequent bladder infections, so it's worth paying attention to the frequency of your UTIs. Take pain during sexual intercourse seriously. Pain during sex is called dyspareunia and can be triggered by a number of physical conditions, including a prolapsed bladder. If you are dealing with dyspareunia, you should see your primary care physician or gynecologist as soon as possible. If pain during intercourse is a new development for you, and you've recently delivered a baby vaginally, then a prolapsed bladder is a particularly likely cause. Don't delay seeing your doctor. Oh greater than if pain during intercourse is a new development for you, and you've recently delivered a baby vaginally, then a prolapsed bladder is a particularly likely cause. Don't delay seeing your doctor. Monitor your back pain. Some women with cystoceles also experience pain, pressure, or discomfort in the lower back area. Back pain is a very general symptom that could mean many things, or nothing serious at all, but it makes sense to schedule an appointment with your doctor. This is especially the case if you are experiencing any of the other symptoms. Know that some women have no symptoms at all. If your case is a mild one, you may not notice any of the above symptoms. Some cystoceles are first discovered during routine gynecological examinations. However, if you exhibit or experience any of the symptoms described above, you should consult your primary care physician PCP or gynecologist. If you do not experience symptoms there is often no need for treatment.